हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू मोटर बीम द फर्स्ट टाइम वी हैड अ ग्लांस ऑफ दिस मस्कुलर होंडा हॉर्नेट इट वाज इन गोवा फ्रॉम द लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स वी हैव बीन राइडिंग दिस एंड वी हैव डन ऑलमोस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स देर आर अ फ्यू बिट्स विच वी डेंट लाइक अ लॉट बट देर आर सम थिंग्स विच वी लव लेट्स सी वॉट दोज आर From the flood of unicorns, the Honda Hornet stands out. The first thing is the muscular body, and the second thing is the chunky rear tire. It appeals a lot. There have been instances that Honda unicorn owners have been stopping me and asking me questions about two things: the performance, and mainly stressing on the mileage. Talking about mileage, we have been getting 42 kilometers per liter on sane riding, and if we take out the full potential of this motorcycle. we have been achieving 35 to 38 kilometers a liter which is quite impressive the best part about this motorcycle when compared to its rivals the jixer and the fz is the better ergonomics and a mature riding posture if we look at it it's much more similar to the duke 200 a bit more upright yet a bit leaned in considering this it's totally sporty nature and that leads to a hard seat and a really stiff suspension That is what gets on to you. We still miss that bit of comfort which used to be on the Honda Unicorn 150. The performance of this motorcycle is really satisfying. This engine is the same as the Honda Unicorn 160, but it's a bit pumped up. It produces a bit more power, though it's quite a lot refined. This engine feels a lot subtle and it doesn't feel as jerky or as torquey in city. but if you take it on the highway this engine is ready to scream out up to the 11500 rpm the gears are really tall so if you are in the city or on the highway one particular gear can pull to a lot of speed and this helps a lot in touring braking and handling is a street fighter motorcycle's forte for here we have the combi braking system the cbs from honda and it works really well but as you move to handling it isn't that great because it is not stable mid corner while the tires suck the front tire feels a lot heavier and so does the rear and they being the hard compound do not grip well in the current conditions right now as the honda hornet moves out from a long term fleet it's not a motorcycle we're going to miss much this is the best honda has to offer in the 150 cc segment the jixer twins get rear disc and the sf gets fuel injection which changes the market dynamics yet again thank you so much for watching make sure to like share comment and subscribe the motorbeam channel